What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm back in um, with basically my sort of aftermath type video of uh, me working at Comic Con over the weekend. Um, yeah, it was it was uh, very long hours, but very worth it. Um, it was an amazing um, experience, especially for me as it's it was technically my first time not only working at a convention but also um attending a comic con in some way um <clears throat> shape or form so what i'll be doing is, is sort of in a sense breaking down sort of day by day basically what i've done who i saw if i saw as if i saw anyone that day and that's a different sort of just my thoughts on the whole thing um but yeah each day I, <laughs> So basically Friday, Saturday and Sunday is pretty much the same start and finish time. I was pretty much up every morning about half five to sort of make sure I was up, showered, break, up breakfast and, and sort of get to the venue for about half seven um, each morning and I was sort of pretty much done by eight o'clock that night. Um, it was all good. And you know, the only annoying thing I had was the roommate I was sharing a hotel room with who I sort of never met before. The snoring from him, it was like, it was like, listening to snoring through surround sound, it was, so each night I, I probably had about an hour of sleep each night, um, the only thing that kept, the only, like, the only, kept me, the only thing that kept me going was big bottles of LucasAid, occasional cold bottles of orange juice and paracetamol, that's the only thing that kept me going really, um, so yeah, I'll do for, I thought I was the day of the night is Friday. Um there's really no point to the first day in London because I think I did I didn't really leave the hotel room. I did, I went to Poundland. No one really wants to know what I thought of Poundland. I said it was just rolled on a coffee. But um <laughs> so, so Friday well, we rocked up to the uh the venue um in the morning. Um, obviously for a lot of people, myself included, it was our first time there, so it was like a bit daunting. Um, and I, that, I didn't know anyone. Um, obviously by the weekend, you sort of, you see some of the same places. Um, I will be yawning occasionally in this video actually, because I did, I left London. This, I, I watched, well, I watched London, I watched early this morning, at half five this morning. I left London at six this morning, a half six. Yeah, so if I if I'm young, that's my excuse. Um, there's a final what's up. <coughs> um, for a lot of the children, I was new, so I literally had to sort of uh, get my t my staff t my crew member t shirt and my crew member badge. Um, the crew members are quite tall because at the front it's also got all the crew member, this and everything. You, you, you write your name on the back, but the back it was advertising the new Minions film, which I've got a soft spot for the Minions basically. I was sort of like, I really enjoyed that. <clears throat> um, got to a point where they sort of done any morning stuff, like they sort of like, good morning, I like, introduced, like, tell like where things are, and uh, they sort of, you know, what they do is they sort of set, they sort of allocate you your place for that day because as I said each day you did do a different job so on the Friday I was basically doing cosplay um unfortunately I want cosplay I know um put my study nurse outfit, outfit and everything she can't wear it <laughs> um so when I only got <clears throat> when I was in the cosplay section um Sort of said like what job do you want me to do for the day sort of thing um so we've got with cosplay is um they do like the masquerade and things like that um so it's pretty much so what we've done is it was the masquerade was pretty much had a certain start time well it was two start times depending on how you, you set up your registration so if you pre-registered yes you sort of has i think like a quarter past quarter so quarter two your time was um for judging um pre-judging <clears throat> but the main if you did it yeah you signed up there and then 
it, 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 in terms of quarterfinals, ready for the masquerade at five. Um, so it was it was about three or four of us on this certain sort of few tables. Um, obviously, if you follow me on, I think I post it on Facebook, but I think I did it on Instagram. Basically, I put a picture of my basically my view for the day sort of thing. Um, so yeah, each person had a job um, because at the group at the people I was there, I was the most I was the, the most technically minded. So I I was on the laptop, unfortunately no pawn. Um, it was like the paperwork, paperwork, one more piece of paperwork. But me, I was the person basically. If you depends on how, how you set it up. If you brought your own music and you basically gave it to your memory stick to me, and I put it on the computer, to put on our memory stick, um, or you chose music depends on your character sort of thing. Um I know one of them was um a I don't really do anything that much. Well I tell it was like a thank you the um a um satellite a guard type thing for the Umbrella Academy for I think Umbrella Academy. Please hold me President Evil, please correct me for Resident Evil and uh he was like I don't know what sort of music you want. What type of thing you want for me on our stage. I want to say something from the siren sort of thing. I want to talk about World War Two sirens. <clears throat> really, it's quite really trying that. It's all YouTube's World War Two sirens. So, so, is this uh, first one went, went to, Is this fine? Yeah, it went fantastic. Um, well, that's pretty much what I was doing. Like each person. Um, there was two group. There was two cos bunch of cosplayers that pretty much battled off before they had a chance. They sort of said to me about music. Um, lucky enough, the people who do the paperwork side sort of told me what they they were. So one of them was for uh, they were Sith Lords from Star Wars. <clears throat> so they uh, they they I said I said you I went home to oh, YouTube Star Wars Sith thing first song fine. Um, it went until later when I was like helping them like for, with the flow that was. For masquerade, we we had a, we had a thing that all routine. It went to us as a routine with them. Music the day room, they went went better than we thought. Um, so I was sweet. <clears throat> and the other one was they had it was like this. It was strange. I'm 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 assuming they were a couple or it was all close friends. Um, it was all short Irish bird. Who was quite attractive, to be fair. And a bloke who initially thought it looked like uh, it seemed it seemed a bit weird, but it, it was just he was I'm guessing his nature sort of thing, he was like from Finland or something. Um two I spoke to him while then I was in the queue and they were nice people to be fair. Um they was they were dressed up as some anime butler type characters. I don't do anime so I do not know what anime it was, so I said to one of the girls who was doing a manga anime pop anime some pop some oh, that was a booth in front advertising that an anime manga type pop convention um i said to her like do you know what anime they're from she told me so i typed it in one of the albums like a japanese version um that she chose the right i chose the uh First song, and when I was I said, when I said to him, like, you were meant to get music, um, I he's like, I said to him, it's basically if you don't like the music, I doubt I've got it for you, it's basically on the person you're punching, um, literally, the dinner act as they came off, and they sort of they're standing there waiting, obviously, for the judging, they sort of looked at me and went, you know, what uh, the spotlight, I'm really, really impressed with the choice of the song I gave for the wind night. This is, I said, uh, they said to me like a bit more really was I mean like some shitty sort of pop bonnet music. I went well if I went first thing if I wasn't do a random song it'd be like heavy metal or rock, which the girl went I would I would have enjoyed that. But I said to them, like, I try I was trying to sort of choose music pen like sort of out so as well with the costumes. 
So if you like say like a Pokemon character, I try and sort of done like a song relevant to either your character or, or the game that the character's in, or in this case an anime, I sort of try to sort of suit it with that. <coughs> so that's much my job that day. Like the sweat like it was really quiet for us, really. I was people watching. So I mean the girl next to me was like we were pretty much placing bets on who what character was see from it's like Batman Joker or this, that and the other. Um Matt Star like, the thing that was strange that was Star Trek um uniforms. I'm like, I knew like, I knew there was a few Star Trek celebrities, which was probably why that was the case. But yeah, there was a ton of them. Um one cosplay I did enjoy seeing for my own uh Pervy reasons um, was a poison ivy cosplay. The girl must have been like fucking five foot nothing. Um, a real attractive girl with a nice little peachy ass, but the front bit was like right up. I'm like, uh, I'm like, I better fuck. Like, you you want to look being a pervy man, but at the same time, you know, like, you don't trust yourself looking. Um, so it's quite nice in that that sort of thing. But the cosplay, to be fair, the cosplays all across the weekends were I will give them credit. Uh, people have done the costumes, even like the sort of basic ones were really enjoyable to see. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much my Friday. Saturday I was <clears throat> initially one I wasn't actually allocated to a location originally. Um, so in the morning we were trying to find somewhere for me to be. Initially, I was sort of help with a photo booth. Um, for, initially, I was like, oh, excited. One of the bits, it was two little bits depending on the person who's appearing. One was for, for the bridge for Star Trek Voyager because in the afternoon, I think they had two volts from Star Trek Voyager. I think it's, and I think I want to say, um, the person who had seven or nine or went there and all, but. I know she was at the show, but I don't remember if she went that specific one. But also, you had the bloke who played Freddy Krueger. He was also at the venue. So that was his. So then she put me there, but literally within like a space of 20 minutes, I was automatically moved to uh, doing the entrance. Basically, if you, like, depending if you came in, depending on what queue you was in, it was probably me who, who gave you your three day. I've done the three day wristbands. So if you turned up Saturday, Depends on what time you came in and you got a three day wristband, there's a bit would have been a high chance it was me. <clears throat> um but because my queue was real quiet, most people bought either a day ticket or got their wrist Friday wrist but their three day wristband the day before. I was like ticket wise like wristband was quite quiet. Um sort of, I've done enough to sort of make to be able to do it perfectly, but reasonably quiet. Um I spent more time answering people's questions. Um, it's like if I got to a point, like by the end of the day, if I had a pound for every time someone said, "Where's the exit?" I could, I could retire. It got to a point where I, I, I literally had my answer down, not to a T. It was like if someone tells me, "Where's the exit?" I'm like, main hole to the right, past street eight. So it was like automatically I knew the. The way to the stadium, um, <clears throat> so yeah, Saturday. F <laughs> the girl next to me who was doing the day, well, uh, she was doing like the day people, her, her it, was a lot, it was a lot more busy, so I felt I did genuinely feel bad for her, <clears throat> but I'm like, really, <clears throat> so like, so I've done the best I could to help her out, but it's like, she would help herself busy, but I did send. More time sort of standing there, sort of wet answering questions or the occasional wristbands. So, Friday, sort of, it was no longer, it wasn't exactly easy, but it, overall, but it was, it was, there was times it was sort of trying to keep myself busy, sort of thing. Um, so yeah, and Sunday, <clears throat> Sunday for me was probably the Best for like when I was at the job I'd done was the best day for me. Actually, no, I think Friday and Sunday sort of 
when it comes to how much enjoyment I got out of it, sort of equal. Um, but as, when it comes to sort of like a little bit of a claim to fame, if you will, it was Sunday, um, which was I was the basically nine o'clock in that morning to about quarter six ish. I was the assistant. This made Rex Red jealous. I was the assistant to Zach Gallagher. To me, I feel like I pronounced his last name wrong. Or basic, or basically Billy from Gremlins. I was his assistant all day, um, or basically all day sort of thing. Um, and uh, so pretty much, I I was pretty much the guy who was like. Making sure what time he basically make sure he went on lunch at the right time. Make sure he got to his photo shoots at least five minutes early. I was, I was basically, I was, yeah, I was basically the one who was sort of making sure his day runs smoothly, sort of thing. Um, but it was nice because it was between people we were talking. Um, and he's. He's literally one of the nicest people. I, most I, I was expecting to be a little bit arrogant, but he wasn't. Um, was uh, real good conversations. Uh, and uh, he was playing like a, between conversations. He was playing a game on his phone. He was talking about how much out the hours he had on his pay and the money he's put in. Um, he was telling me about was he what it's been like in the, in the states during not like the COVID and like it, it's. I know it used to, I used because I said like, in the morning I said I said to him, my first time like not only a citizen a celebrity but he doing a con he was like giving me like during the day like giving me a little tip like because I was trying like in the morning I was, I was told by my basic pit boss like basically if someone wants a photo offer them like with myself and offer to take it but they got to a point when I was doing that a couple of times <clears throat> he he that basically went. Like the, the same you sort of getting up and down, he said, I'm going to give you a bit of advice. Instead so, so of you sort of getting up and down or often take photos, if they want a photo, was he, he, was, well, he, was, he was doing a smart thing where if they want a selfie or a picture, they had to buy an autograph to get it. He was being quite clever about that. He So, what he was, was about, if they wanted a photo, a selfie when they purchased, he, he basically went, unless they specifically say, I specifically ask you, then don't. Uh, if they say can I take a picture and they do a selfie, that's fine. But he said like unless they specifically ask, then don't offer sort of thing. Um, so he would give me like, little tips like that. Um, I was talking, I was asking about like cons, like how cons have been like in America and like that, and uh, he was like, yeah, you know. It, that for me, that last day sort of made it was that nice little sort of cheery on, on the top of the cake sort of thing. Um, it, it proper made it worthwhile for me. Um, so yeah, it was so that there were my three days and what I've done. Um, I, I, I was, last, I think, yeah, last night as I was causing this, like last night in the hotel, I was talking to my roommate and we were, just, we were sort of talking how we were talk, like, we were sort of discussing how it went. On uh, different perspective, sort of thing, and we were saying like, so like, I said to him, like, would, would you do it again in a heartbeat? I went, so, so I went to, I said, I said to him, like, to be fair, so would I. Um, I, <clears throat> I would, I probably wouldn't do three days, but I think depending on how I feel when I, if I do do it again, either one or two days. Because getting there Thursday, doing three days, at waking up at half five, or, you know, wait, or barely waking up at half five on about an hour's sleep, getting up at 12 30 an hour day, it, and this morning to leave London, waking up at half five, um, I'm, yeah, I'm fucked. It's, <clears throat> or if I did, if I do do it, like um, if, if I do do three days, I book I probably book my own hotel, hotel room. So I know it's gonna be me on my own. 
um because it's it's free 30 hours an hour sleep does touch up with you um you go you, you put more you, you do do it may sound a little easy but you do do quite a bit with it dealing with customers or so, so the guest will assist in or dealing with your queries or like yesterday I was a bit like basically the middleman for some like attendees that basically like to do a podcast and they like said like can you sort of try and help us sort of uh I talk, what was that sort of said yeah. I said to my I said I did on, about doing their podcast I said like, if you want to talk, if you want that come back to me and talk to lunch talk to him I sort of got do that and so yeah you've done that and I think I feel like I was dealing with that and uh but it was nice it was nice but also I forgot to mention to Ed um where I was the table we was on was Zach next to us he had one of the one of the kids from ET on the next table so that was my three days guys and my sort of what I'd done my faults and things like that um, if you did attend and you did see me but didn't say hi, say hi in the comments. Um, and if you didn't go, I'd like to hear why you didn't go. If you did go, I'd like to hear if you, if you enjoyed yourself. Um, but apart from that, I hope you, everyone has a good night and uh, I will speak to you guys soon. Ciao for now.